A stand with information and photos from GHA midwives past, present and future was at Cathedral Square today. Midwives gathered to mark the occasion and engage with the public, many of whom recognised the professionals after having previously visited the ward. Maternity ward sister Nancy Lopez told GBC that the last couple of years have been tough for the ward and those who come through it due to the pandemic. Birth is an experience that needs to be shared by both, by mum and dad. So at the moment we still have daddies coming in, or partners coming in I should say. Um, we are only keeping it to one, however this is going to be reviewed in the near future. I am hoping that by summer we have new rules and we'll do a press release to, to inform the public of the new changes. Meanwhile, Ms Lopez told us that they have definitely noticed a baby boom since previous lockdowns. A number of statistics collected over the decades were available at the stand. One noteworthy figure was a rise in C-sections over the years. So when I first started here in the maternity, our that was 17 years ago, our C-section rate was about 25-26%. Now it's about 35 It's gone up. It's definitely gone up, but it's gone up on par with the UK's um, rates as well. It's not isolated here in Gibraltar. Um, the patient dynamic has completely changed. Women have careers, they tend to have children a little bit older, um, our lifestyle has completely changed, so it means that women now have diabetes or you know, or have raised BMIs, that means that we have a much lower threshold to say, you know, we've got to cut, cut the time that you're in labour basically. Um, women have IVF. These are women who maybe 30, 40 years ago wouldn't have been able to get pregnant naturally. So the, some, some of them are accompanied already by pre-existing medical conditions. So this also impacts the cesarean section rate. But at the end of the day, as long as both mother and baby are healthy, it doesn't matter if you have a baby vaginally or through cesarean section. I mean, what, what's important is the outcome. The midwives say that they are also managing to attract locals to the career path. Well, I've always been interested in pregnancy in general and I've always found it such a beautiful thing and such a miracle um, just how women can bring this baby into this world and create this life and, and I also love babies <laughs> um, and I also love advocating for women, speaking on their behalf if they don't have a voice for themselves so that's part of the reason why I've enjoyed studying midwifery. Um, because of the internet people are very knowledgeable and uh, that's good and it's important for us as midwives to give women choice and I think that's one of the things that's changed a lot over the last 40 years is that women now have choice and we can work with them. Clinical nurse manager Fiona McCubrey describes today as an opportunity to appreciate the role of midwives in our community. Director General Patrick Gagan says he's very proud of the GHA's midwifery services. Ha, ha, ha.